We appear to be utilizing more GPUs than necessary from our cloud providers. What the hell is going on? Let's talk about it. So welcome back to the Cloud Computing Insider. My name is Dave. Let's get started. So we're going to talk today about GPUs or graphics processing units and specifically uh, how they're being allocated across workloads now, typically in the AI space. And obviously it's it's going to occur within cloud providers, AWS, Microsoft, and Google Sovereign Clouds, you know, all the ones we talk about here, private clouds and in private clouds as well. And sometimes it's going to be on-prem. So we're kind of talking about the similar sort of architecture, but in the uh, cloud computing scenario, it's going to be on demand and we're going to have to pay for the utilization of those processes, in this case, GPUs, which is typically going to be more money. And that's the core to what we're going to be talking about. So uh, if you don't know what GPUs are, they've been around for a long time. They used to be advertised in PC Magazine when I used to write for PC Magazine in the 90s of graphics processing units, and that's what they did. But here today, you're hearing more talk about GPUs as related to AI processing, typically on the training side, sometimes on the inference side as well. And the reason why is because they're able to do many things at once, where CPUs do not typically have that capability. And so in other words, GPUs are able to process lots of things at the same time. The way I like to explain it is they can open up many doors and have many people walk out and therefore have more production, more scale 